Thanks for checking this video out. Your mountaintop news video is coming up in just a minute. Did you know that it's going to be watched thousands of times, shared a bunch of times, likes, comments, you name it, it's going to be there. Why is it your ad here? Call me. With the recent news of a Pike County man who was struck by lightning, weather forecasters are bringing awareness and recommendations on how to avoid this rare life-threatening occurrence. I had the privilege to speak with Pete Dejerian, a senior forecaster from the National Weather Service in Jackson, who says when thunder roars, go indoors. If you hear thunder, then you're close enough to that storm to be potentially struck by lightning. That's the idea. You know, you want to avoid open fields. Um, you don't want to be at the top of a hill or a ridge top. You want to stay away from tall, isolated trees or other tall objects. Of course, this is if you're outside. You know, if you're in a forest, stay near a lower, lower stand of trees. If you're in a group, spread out to avoid the current traveling between group members because that can actually happen. If you're camping in an open area, set up camp in a valley, ravine, or other low area. A uh, tent offers no protection from lightning. Of course, you want to stay away from water. You want to stay away from really anything wet, such as ropes and, of course, metal objects, fences and poles. Water and metal do not attract lightning, but they are excellent conductors of electricity. Uh, the current from a lightning crash will easily travel long distances. So those are kind of some basic things um, if, you're, if you're outside. Of course, if you are indoors, you're in a much safer place during a storm, but Jajarian says that you still want to avoid electronics such as corded telephones, computers, or other electrical equipment. Avoid plumbing. Don't take a shower or wash dishes or your hands in the middle of a bad storm. Uh, stay away from exterior windows and, and doors that might contain metal components leading from outside your home to the inside. Or stay off balconies or porches for property protection you know lightning generates electrical surges that can damage electronic equipment some distance from the actual strike so surge protectors are always a good good idea for any anything you don't want to have to replace and those are some those are some of the more common things uh, for indoor and outdoor safety lightning safety but in this uncommon occurrence a pot county man was struck by lightning as he suffered burns on his body and was taken to the Cincinnati Medical Center to receive treatment. At first, the family was afraid he wouldn't survive the lightning strike as the damage was severe, but in their latest post to social media, he is now recovering, and they are asking for continued prayers. You know, occasionally there are folks that get struck, and, you know, that's that's always really, really sad to hear of, and, you know, it just depends on the circumstances, but... You know, I, I think the numbers are, are generally lower. Although the chance of being struck by lightning is quite low, it can still happen to anyone during a storm. For more information and how to stay safe during a storm or any bad weather situation, visit the National Weather Service website. There's good lightning safety information on our webpage. You can go to a National Weather Service page, the, the national page, or our local page at Jackson, www.weather gov slash jkl and just look on the, the right side and there's there's safety under there and you can link into lots of different things from that page reporting for mountaintop news i'm jeremy justice